When you think of agricultural education, you probably think of FFA or perhaps shop class at your local middle school or high school. But there's a concerted effort in Virginia to introduce management techniques to young people interested in a career in agriculture. A new course of instruction has been introduced by leadership at the Massanutten Technical Center in Harrisonburg. It's called Ag Production Technology and is focused on numerous sectors in agriculture, including animal science, plant science, soil science, as well as farm business management. The new program of education started in 2017 and uses an actual working farm as a classroom. Kevin Hutton is director of Massanutten Technical Center. The school has been recognized on numerous occasions for innovation and educational effectiveness. He explains the core concept of this new agricultural education program based in Virginia's Shenandoah Valley. So our agricultural production technology class is a chance to offer students in Rockingham County and Harrisonburg City the chance to learn about agricultural science. Uh, we're in the top 4% in the East Coast and we really want to provide them the opportunity to learn about soil management, sustainable farming, livestock production, soil, uh, raising crops and raising uh, different types of products to keep the valley up and running. Officials say that's what it's all about. Not only creating career opportunities for these young students to become farm managers and farm business professionals, but also to sustain the future of Virginia agriculture. Elected officials in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County have been supportive of this new agriculture production technology course. Pablo Cuevas is on the Rockingham County Board of Supervisors and provides some insight into why this vocational program is important to young people and to agriculture. Well, because we have so many kids, so many young folks, that they don't want to just be teachers or, or maybe even doctors or whatever the case may be. They want to be, they want to work with their hands. They want to be mechanics. They want to be plumbers. They want to be welders. They want to work in a body shop. They like automobiles and those kind of things. And many of them just like this in here and in Rockingham County. Uh, I know the age of our farm owners is getting to a point that is getting so important for our young people to know and understand farming and agriculture and the way that you know that you can make a living so that this program in here is going to be just one more asset for us to offer these kids you know uh, uh, in their future and not just uh, how to grow something it's the financial part of it you know and the many other you know uh, contacts that you have as a, as a farmer that you have to have in order to you know but to make a living and to be able to pass that farm on to the rest of the family later on. The teacher selected for this first ever course of instruction at Massanutten Technical Center is Mr. Eric Stogdale. He came to the program with more than two decades of experience in agricultural education and says he has a keen desire to be a, a part of something new in agricultural education. I was asked to uh, interview for this job back in uh, February, I talked to a couple people on the committee and the CT director, Eric Fitzgerald, and it just sounded like a really neat opportunity, not only to be able to teach children like I have the last 24 years, but to do so with a land laboratory of this size and scale. I mean, we have 180 acres here, we have another 12, 15 acres, and a couple of barns on another spot, and to be able to get the students out and do the hands-on education just seemed like such a unique and different opportunity compared to any other ag program in the state. It was just something I was drawn to. I was born and raised on a small farm uh, just up the road a little bit, and agriculture has always been a passion of mine. Teaching agriculture is something I've done for a long time, and it just seemed like a really good fit. Uh, one of the first projects we did uh, here on the farm, uh, Mike and I had gotten together and decided to plant some pumpkins out here on about a half acre field and we brought the students out and the problem was some of the pumpkin uh, plants were starting to turn yellow a little too early. So we did some research and the kids found out it was either a fungus or the uh, squash bugs and then we started talking to some experts and found out that we could spray but at that time it probably wouldn't make a lot of sense to spray. So that just initial problem solving, I think that's what a lot of kids need to know if they're going into this field in agriculture. According to Stogdale, 
the ultimate goal of this ag production technology course at Massanutten Technical Center is this. Primarily what we're trying to do here is train kids to be farm managers, not just laborers, not just somebody come out and do the work, but kids that can actually think and plan and budget and know how to create a profit from the operations that they're doing to create sustainable farms that will be around for generations to come. Response from the students has been positive in this first ever class. I think a lot of the things I can learn here are more management things that my dad does and I'm not really, it's not really a hands-on thing that I'm involved in on our farm. So I think I learned a lot of the management and financial side of things. And then also I could learn more about the lamb, hog, and goat side of things because all we have is cattle. Cron says this program has opened his eyes to all of the opportunities in Virginia agriculture. Yeah, I say our farm does a lot of the rotational grazing and rotational crops and that, that side of things and the livestock side of things, but we've never really got into the pumpkins and vegetables and things like that that we're selling to the, just selling off the farm like that. We've never really got into anything like that, so this is a really new deal for me, selling pumpkins and the sunflowers, and that's just a really new thing. I'm learning a lot about it. Cron says if he were talking with other students about this new program? I would tell them I think it's going to be a really good opportunity for them to learn a whole lot in the future. Now that we're just getting started, it's a lot of building things and buying animals and just the startup things. But once it gets started, I think it's going to be a really good opportunity to learn a whole lot about production agriculture and how to manage a farm and even if you don't want to be a farm manager, you can learn about what it's about to be a farmer and then you can work in the agricultural industry and you'll know what it's actually like to be on a production farm. One young lady is a senior in high school and had this to say about the new program. Well, last year I was in a class called um, Biological Applications in Agriculture at my own school. And as we were signing up for classes for the next year, I kind of noticed that there was this class that not Pretty much no one else kind of noticed it, but I kind of took a notice in it, and it was the ag class here, and I, it immediately struck my interest because none of the other classes that my school offers are really animal-based, and that's really my side of agriculture that I really love is the animal side of things. And so um, I definitely was interested because of that I saw that it would just be so many different things and that it would be, um, it was called, I think, farm production. And so I was like, well, this will help me be more profitable at my own farm. So I definitely wasn't expecting to come out here the first day that we came to the farm and look at pumpkins and try to decide what uh, um, they had and so um, that was interesting. Um, another thing, um, the more like building side of agriculture is not really my favorite but I've definitely started to enjoy it with this class. Like I don't know if it's because it's outside of the workshop or what not but it's, it's a lot of fun. So for livestock I can kind of just be like oh hey I know that already. But for all these things, it's like just learning new things every single day. Like, I, d I didn't know pumpkins could have diseases, but I do now. Um, and so learning the different soil types that we have been, that's not something I've really ever learned either. So it's just the um, process of learning new things that maybe aren't in my interest area, but I still get to do what I like, but I also get to learn other things at the same time. Yet another student in this class is homeschooled and says he's participating in this educational program to learn more about opportunities in agriculture. I've always had an interest in the outdoors and in uh, agriculture and uh, I was uh, excited here when uh, Mass Nutton Technical Center came up with a new agriculture class and it's something I've been interested in and something that I know I've always wanted to do especially coming from a background where I come from, where big time construction. And so it's kind of a big leap for me, but I've always uh, thought, of, thought of agriculture as like my passion. 
So what would this young man like to do in the future? I'm hoping it takes me to a point where I can uh, start my own farm, uh, hoping at some point in the future do uh, wildlife management and even start a deer farm. Because, uh, no, there's not a lot of those around here, and I think it would be interesting to start a whitetail deer farm or potentially whitetail and mule deer farm in the Shenandoah Valley. Odom says he has learned a lot of things he, he never really thought about before. I uh, actually learned, uh, to be honest, about uh, species and uh, uh, different types of species of, uh, let's say, uh, cows. Uh, all the different species like I never even knew about. Like I had no idea that there are so many different species and variations of these animals when it comes to uh, cows, pigs, and goats and to where you can change all the genetics in them change their color, change whether they're polled or non-polled, and get to where they're, uh, you can change them to become uh, uh, a heavier animal or a lighter animal, change them to where they could be better uh, toward, out towards the west or here in, on the eastern side. It's just, uh, that's something that really jumped out to me. What would Odom tell other teenagers about this new ag production technology course? I would tell them that uh, it's something they should learn stuff about uh, the outdoors, learning management and stuff, and learning where our food comes from, learning how it uh, all comes together and helps uh, support the, our nation, and tell them that uh, it helps them to get a good feel of work what work should be. Mike Phillips is the owner of the farm being used as a hands-on ag classroom. He shares one aspect of what students are discovering about field crops. What the student's going to learn is the basics of crop rotation. There's a quick rotation on the, the field behind us. That field will always be in corn. will be in corn in odd years, except in, this, like, this is 2017. Next year, the field behind us will be in corn. And what the rotation is, is you're not only getting feed for the livestock, but you're feeding the soil. You're feeding, you know, the bee, the habitat, I mean, like the pollinators or whatnot through buckwheat planting. And then we're doing a quick rotation back and forth. So you have a quick rotation, but you're building the soil quality. Because if the, what you're seeing behind us right now will not be harvested. That's the, feeds, the feed for the ground, feed for the insects, I mean, the, the microorganisms in the ground, the earthworms and so forth. So you got two types of livestock to feed. The ones above ground, our livestock that we make money from and below ground, which helps that process make us that money, if that makes sense. Phillips and Stogdale spent one fall morning helping students to understand the concept of rotational grazing with cattle. Uh, the practice has been used for decades, but it's been refined in recent years, allowing farmers more control over where the cattle feed and how much they eat. Uh, the goal is to keep the animals on a patch of ground only long enough for them to eat the lush top growth of grass and not overgraze the pasture. When cattle are left on a field for too long, they can damage the forage by overgrazing the pasture, uh, consuming the entire leaf of the grass plant. This stunts the grass because there's no leaf area to absorb solar energy and, and feed the plant. The students learned that modern rotational grazing practices incorporate the use of electrified polywire which is easily moved. It's rather obvious even to the casual observer that the cattle and the pasture are beneficiaries of rotational grazing management techniques. Ultimately, this new course of instruction at Massanutten Technical Center is all about hands-on experience and offering high school students an outdoor classroom to learn modern agricultural practices. The big, in the big picture, it is to be able to allow the students to understand soil biology, it's the soil chemistry, plant science, and animal science, and how everything is tied together where you can cut your input costs down, still keep the soil being productive and keep increasingly getting better. And you can cut your bottom line because you can have your feed stock right here. You don't have to have so much input costs coming in. So they can learn all sorts, so they can find a passion for themselves. Right. That's why the kids are here. They're, that, I, that's the biggest enjoyment that I've had for a long time because you're allowing the opportunity. You're given an opportunity. Let them find something they'd like to do and have a passion for. But you just got to have a place. 
Every kid needs a sandbox. This is our sandbox. Let them play. More information about this rather unique agricultural production technology program can be found at the website mtcva.com. Just click on the high school programs and then ag production technology. School officials and Harrisonburg and, and Rockingham County are to be commended for creating this forward-thinking, hands-on course of instruction for young people interested in Virginia agriculture.